Hello everybody, welcome to season 46 of CCL, round two match between Dionysian and his Amazons and Yakus Jakustai and his undead. In the booth with me is Calcium, hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so um, I, love, I love Dio yeah. and I also like Yak quite a lot, so I'm a little bit torn here. Um, I don't hate Amazons. Um, and I certainly don't hate Undead. You know, one of the OG teams, aren't they? So, yeah. It's it's interesting here that Jack has a loner zombie over a Wrestle Skellington. Uh, I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but he's he is he's certainly not fielded the Skellington in his field. That he had two loners, and then he has got two star players as well, Setek and Hack and Slash. I was just hacking this, isn't it? So yeah, he's got two stars. Yeah. He's got a pretty amazing mummy, but only one, because one was missed next. And he's got a mighty blow tackle on his ghoul. And not a lot of tools to beat this Zon team. Uh, which is pretty decent, right? It's got it's got a bunch of skills. Uh, you're just gonna need to yeah, you're just gonna need to high roll the hell out of that ghoul, aren't you? Um yeah. it's all about that ghoul. And Hack here going so, in, going in for the saw. Well, oh boy, just exposing himself instantly and fails the hack. Oh. Yeah, I sort of hate that. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye yeah. hack. It's so bad. Use hack to foul, um, <laughs> or a couple of turns in when the the you know you haven't got a bank of LOS where you're exposing hack on. It's yeah. you know it, it, don't get me wrong. It's not a great hire anyway, is it? It's you know it's. Pretty much 130k up the Swanee. <laughs> yeah. Well, unbelievably, it doesn't die. So there you go. Yeah. What do we know, Jim? What yeah. do we know? <laughs> Didn't want the armor seven defense. Well, there you go. That was a conscious decision. In that case, I would have probably just sacked him anyway for a loan away if you, if you didn't want him. The Amazon sounds are terrible, aren't they? Oh my god. Who the hell uh, is in charge of, of that? <laughs> Well, apparently, Jim, they're very popular in the House of Commons. <laughs> very good. <laughs> oh, dear. Dirty Dingo is down my neck of the woods. Honiton <laughs> is um, sort of half hour from where I live um, in Somerset. So, oh, about three quarters an hour, actually. Yeah, the Dirty Dingo, Dirty Conservative Dingo. Anyway, let's not demonetize you. <laughs> yep, yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wow! Wow, J Five. The he the zones are caused are coached not by a tool but by a fuel. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Um Dio's Dio's a Dio's a great great player of Blood Bowl, um, and a great streamer. Though apparently he is quitting, he is quitting both, which is sad. I is think. He? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? When I first came across Dio, um, his whole "there are no dice" mantra really annoyed me to the point where. <laughs> I sort of decided I didn't like him. Um, and that was a mistake because I actually like Dio a great deal now. And what, again, do you know what? It's that classic thing, isn't it? Getting to know people a little bit, seeing beyond their, you know, um, your initial opinion of someone, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, and me and Dio have had a, 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 we've swapped a couple of comments to each other and very nice, I may add, you know? And yeah, I got a lot of time for him. I've, yeah. I think he's a really cool guy. And um, if he does decide to hang up his Blood Bowl boots, it will be a loss to the community. Yeah, that's that's what I said to him, more or less. Yeah. Not as eloquently, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because I am intelligent, but I just can never <laughs> talk to people seriously. Like, I just, yeah. I'm just rubbish at it, you know? I'm, I'm great at taking the piss out of people, and like a joke, but I, when, when I want to be like, I want to be serious sometimes, and I'm just rubbish at it. <laughs> yeah. On the flip side, Yak's a tool bag, but we love him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I like Yak as well, so uh <laughs> Is he gonna foul oh he's not fouling. I thought I thought maybe uh Dio would have fouled the saw because this is like a decent way to high roll, isn't it, getting that like the saw is you know, it's like an instant so, knockdown, isn't it? I can't quite believe I'm gonna say hate this that. Gym, right? hate that block. But I hate that block. Yeah, okay, you gotta count. Strength six mummy is great, isn't it? It's just yeah. so intimidating. It's it's a nuclear deterrent on the field, isn't it? It really is. So good. But yeah, I wouldn't have fouled the saw. Um, why would you want to foul the saw? Let him stand up and then just remove him easily. Or blitz with him. 
you know? Mm, sooner or later, it's going to go... Sooner or later, it's going to go bad, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. But he, get, he gets removed this turn. Yeah, okay. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I, I'd like to point out that I don't know the result of this game. I haven't watched this game, but, you know. No, I haven't. But I, I want to like Falm. Like, you've got a dirty player, and that guy can... It's 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 Jack's best chance of, like, hurting somebody, isn't it? Yeah. So... Saws are great fun, right? I'm a big fan of chainsaws. In fact, if I was in control of the rule set, I would make access to a chainsaw player um, standard for every single team. Why yeah. Why not? Most people aren't going to take them anyway, but the insane people are going to have a field day, aren't they? <laughs> and, we, yeah. and we need insanity in Blood Bowl. We don't need everybody crunching Samba like a knobhead. All right? <laughs> we need insanity in Blood Bowl. So... You know, I think the chainsaws should be much more prevalent on every team. But yeah, same with big guys, right? Like the the big guys and and secret weapons are like the core of the fluff of Blood Bowl, aren't they? You know, they like, are. Yeah, they're amazing. That's what wins games is like the crazy secret weapons and the big guys. And then in the game itself, secret weapons are crap and big guys are crap. And I kind of hate yeah. that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It is literally, you know, I'm on record as to, my, you know, my second edition roots. It's literally the thing that attracted me to this game. They got yeah. chainsaws. It's American football with chainsaws. Mm. <laughs> Count me in. Sign mm. me up. So, mm. uh, but. Yeah, I really like that was like, and you know, big guys and that, you know, like Morgan Thorg was on the cover of uh, the 1988 yeah. one. Yeah. And yeah, the 94 yeah. one they put him on as well. He was. Like, you know, so yeah. Like, He's what well, they want to make him the poster boy, but he's rubbish because big guys are terrible, and it's like yep. you've got to make them not terrible. <laughs> I think I mean, it's to be fair, they, you, they were good. They were good at good. first. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, they were yeah. good at first in in '94 because they just had Morgan Thorg like is an ogre, and you can use him for any or you can use him for any ogre. And then it was only when they brought out rookie ogres is when is when big guys became rubbish. But in the original yeah. rules, you you just use the rules for Morgan <laughs> Thorg as like any. Ogre. Mm. No, Morg isn't terrible, but but ogres are terrible, right? Oh, the big guys are terrible. Yeah, but big guys are terrible. Right? Obviously, Starfleet is different. Oh, Morgan, twenty twenty is insane, isn't he? Yeah. Mighty Blow plus two. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello, Ansi. Yeah, at least Morg is good again. Yeah, but but big guys were rubbish. Like, and yeah, to be fair, Morg was good in ninety four. <clears throat> Incredible, in fact. To be fair, Morg's incredible in 94. Which I think is how it should be. But... Big guys are rubbish. So, I'm, I, I admire the fact, Yak, that you, you know, stayed true to yourself by way of um, taking a saw against Amistons. Um Not such an admirer of the fact that you literally went bonsai with him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so <laughs> <laughs> bonsai. <laughs> I like Still, going bonsai. I, 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 yeah, I was entertained. <laughs> can you actually say that now? I don't know if you can. You can say I was entertained. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, absolutely. Mr. Miyagi said, Banzai! <laughs> so I can say that. That's, it was a Karate Kid reference all day. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how I took it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and this is great, isn't it? Getting the guard in and the mighty blow hit. Yeah. But how can he protect the ball as well? I guess he's got to stay where he is. Oh, re-rolls that. Wow. wow. Oh, I don't know about the re-roll. It was rowdy. Yeah, he wanted, to, he wanted to clear him though, didn't he? Yeah. This is tricky to protect the ball here. A little bit tricky. It's a pretty terrible run of dice he's just had there in it. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's 55 to knock down. And he had to reroll it, but yeah, there was a good chance of him not knocking it down. And now he's in a world of hurt. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. yeah, I think reroll is necessary if you want to score, yeah. Songs. 
There's not a. Uh, there's nothing happening here, is there? Like, there's not going to be a hit on the ball. Oh, what? Hello, Fimea. Thank you for joining us. How are you today? I'm alright, alright. Friday, so happy days. Glorious. Oh, this is the game Jackson uh, Dio. Yes. Was played this morning, I think, and an absolutely crazy hour. <laughs> yes, yes, an insane hour, yes. <laughs> like okay. 8 in the morning or something like that. Yeah, it was played in like Australian time, basically. <laughs> Kadenic cast it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw a bit of the game. Yeah, I saw his VOD. I, I clicked on his VOD and I was like, oh my god, like, by the time I'd got up, he had just finished. <laughs> yeah. I, saw, I saw his casting this, I was like, oh man, what a loony. I wonder if Dio should have GFI'd there or not. Maybe not, maybe this is fine. There's the one in nine into a Kaz. Ouch. Apple. apple juice. How many apples does the uh, have deal? <clears throat> just the one. And that's just a block liner when he's got bench. So that was an interesting apple, wasn't it? I don't hate that apple. Maintaining numbers. But I already has the numbers. Yeah. He has to bench. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I guess it was a guaranteed to work, right? It was a uh, and that that's the thing isn't it you you want your apo to work don't you there's it's pretty demoralizing isn't it when you're playing a chalice game and you roll an apo and it fails on you yeah yeah but yeah there's mighty blows there's three dice mighty blows there's dirty players i would have been to keep it. gets the dodge doesn't get the pow <clears throat> oh Luck a dog. Yep, ridiculous. Ridiculous luck. <laughs> Dio. Oh, I like that to trap that in there. It doesn't really trap him, but kind of does a little bit, doesn't it? What makes uh, the dodge a three plus? Uh... Oof, goes for the uphill. Straight in. Yeah, because then you've the got the two. Bit. Then you've got yeah. dodge on the on the second one, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I quite like that actually. Very yeah. good. Very yeah, good from yeah. Dio. Yeah, the odds are better uh, doing a red dice with block and a reroll. Yeah. It's not hat gone. And a two turn attempt, not a two turn attempt, a one turn attempt. Jack a yeah. <laughs> Hack, the best 130k you ever spent in your life. Yeah, I, mean, I, I hate him to be honest, but hey, at least at least he might he might have killed a bludger, right? I, I don't, I hate him less against Amazons than against most other teams, because at least, you know, it, it's a way to take out a bludger, isn't it, potentially? So he's got move seven sidestep, it's not great, is it? He's got a juggernaut blitz. But it's it's certainly a difficult one turn. It might be better just banging on people. Yeah, saws. I, I'm not a fan of saws. I think in, I agree that in general they're a bit rubbish. They're, they're terrible. They're, they're highly entertaining. They're great to watch, um, but they're just trash. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. But they, have to, but they have to be trash. Because if you make them good, then everybody's. It's going to become the new meta, isn't it? And everyone will be carrying a saw, you know, or playing a team that has access to a saw. So, likewise with big guys. You know, if you make. It's, it must be a real balancing act between keeping big guys absolute trash or making them way too good. As we're going to see with Morgan, the new, you know, in the 2020 rule set, when everybody takes plus two mighty blow. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would just not have Lona, and I would not even have Mega Traits. I would just be like, screw it. Just have, just allow people good big guys. I would be yeah. fine with that. Yeah. And then, like, maybe take trees away from what is. <clears throat> 
trees would be pretty good without any nega traits when they yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, you know, you could change the costs around a bit and you could balance things. I mean, Games Workshop don't care about balancing at all, I, I agree with that. Uh, swords would be good with Mighty Blow. I mean, they'd be better, wouldn't they? I don't know if they'd be good. The secret weapon rule is a bit too punishing, I feel. Yeah. Because the old, um, uh, certainly 3rd and 4th edition, it was a dice roll, wasn't it? Secret weapons. Yeah. Um, it was a 2D dice roll, wasn't it? But I, I, I quite liked that. And I also quite liked um, kickoff events affecting secret weapons you know um and oh I, I really miss i got my eye on you i'm sorry the bribe from the kickoff table jim oh, that was God, brutal yeah. wasn't it yeah when Gr grudge match wasn't it that was it grudge match yeah yeah absolutely brutal not grudge match no it was the ref wasn't it, it was beat the ref get the ref that was it get the ref, get the ref. no that's right get no get one bribe was it no it was get the ref Okay. Get the ref and the, there are no fouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his replacement is too scared to send anybody off <laughs> for the, the rest one. of the, yeah. the yeah. rest of the half or the match. Well, rest of the match, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, Gr grudge match was a, was a, a third ed card that it meant no one got sent off for the entire match. That's right. I know there was and there was another one that let you make as many fouls as uh, you wanted per turn. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think it was both. Yeah, <laughs> good match. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Along the with cards, such wonderful cards, cards as, uh, do you remember Burst Ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do remember. I do remember the Burst Ball. Yeah. How could you forget or, it? <laughs> or trampoline trap. I'm yeah, about yeah. to step into the end zone. No, you're not. You've stepped on a trampoline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always liked the big match to get more money, but then peaked was like horrible, wasn't it? The, 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 you, you, yeah. Your you best guy couldn't get star player points anymore yeah. and stuff, and bad habits. So that every good in a good in, if you had a good team in a league, they always ended up with like no rerolls because you just kept getting bad habits by everybody. <laughs> yeah, constantly. I, or or your, your opponent pulls a magic helmet, uh, plus one to armor permanently. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the one that one of your players is. Uh, fell from the pitch to the uh, other team's coach team and you could kill the wizard oh, yeah. or the necromancer of the yeah. undead. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the undead could yeah. regenerate. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. It's kept us entertained for way too long, Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> mm. That's how we played uh, when I was playing with my pals uh, back in the day, you know, using the cards and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy back in the day. If you've got but, enough C this weekend, which team would you yeah. take? I would take, um, I would take, uh, what are they call hero clicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Way. <laughs> Way. Well, Probably obviously, under. obviously the Scarlet Witch hero clicks is a runner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's so obvious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd probably take Undead, I guess. I, I mean, I don't. I didn't. I didn't really pay attention to it. So let me uh, get this right. Recently, there was a live event of Blood Bowl, you know, tabletop event, and nearly everybody got COVID. Yep. And now there is another one, and the same people are going again. Yep. Good. At yeah. least, at least they can't get it now, though, right? <laughs> but you are not sure about that. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I know people that got it twice very quickly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know a bunch of people that are going to get it twice very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, sucks to be them then. I mean, it's their own stupid fault, isn't it? If they go, because it's obviously going to be an absolute disaster. But hey, you can't yep. you can't fault the NAF. They're just putting this event on for three hundred and twenty of their close friends and family. So you know, <laughs> it's not a party, Jim. It's not a party. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's friends and family, guys. Don't yep. worry, they're totally above board. Andy will be on stream next week going, I had no idea it was a major Blood Bowl event. <laughs> <laughs> not even, no, definitely not a work event. They're friends and family. Um, 
friends. Yeah, they're definitely friends and family. Imagine getting 19 grand and saying it's friends and family, but that's what they're doing on PayPal, so there you go. Not that I've got anything else against the NAF, but it's it's pretty funny, isn't it? It's a... That is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Not like this foul. I will do this foul uh, too. Good foul. Yeah, yeah, very good foul, yeah. It is pretty funny getting 19 grand and saying, yeah, please send it as friends and family. It really helps us out. <laughs> you know, I am there uh, some investigation of the HMRC, so if I can sell someone to, uh, to pay less, <laughs> now I know who to, <laughs> <laughs> who to say. You know, you have you heard this illegal gambling uh, <laughs> ring, you know, the NAF? <laughs> yeah. Uh, gets out my spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, maybe um, you know Jim Con, friends and family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glorious. But I don't think you can send you know the people going to the NAF uh, to jail. I don't think there is enough insulin in the NHS. You know, <laughs> <laughs> For the average uh, blue ball coach. Oh, wow. Get the ball. <laughs> Flip me. Oh, Ooh, big cars. Yeah. Could have appled that one. Look. Oh, no, it's a minus move. Like, so I guess so the apple already is. What was this one? Was this a badly hurt? There you go. Look, he could have used his apple on that, right? Yes. Could he used his apple on this one? Move up guard. Like, that's way better than the one that he used it on. The only reason I can uh, see, you know, for going uh, the, the, like in that point is that you come and say, I wanted to win in roller time, yeah. and I have to have the the players. Yeah, and to be fair, he was out of it. To be fair, I can't fault Dio because look, he's out of he's out of reserves already at this stage. Yep. So, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't. As, as I said at the time, I didn't hate the Apo. Um, yeah. There, there was there was certainly an argument for not using the Apo at that time, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't terrible, it's just that I didn't really like it, but yeah, you can see the point for sure. And as it happened, it, it, you can't argue against it being the right thing, because he, he had 11 men to defend in the second half. Yeah. Although he has brought Amazons to the chalice, so he deserves everything he freaking gets. Yeah, he has brought, he's brought Amazons to a gunfight. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't make me, don't make me play, play space frogs. Seriously. <laughs> oh, oh, there you wow. the mommy, the strength six mommy doing the Lord's job. Wow, the two play skulls. Yeah. Wreck. That much effort to just get all your team punch. Yeah, yeah, that is it's a all right, lot of It's alright, it's fine, it's fine. That is a lot of punchy, punchy back. I mean, without much tackle, but the pause happen. Yeah, they happen sometimes. I'm surprised Dio didn't see that this was just guaranteed to be a. Yeah, he does. He stands firm there. Wow. That's. I don't like standing firm into a 3D mighty blow hit, but. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> but you know, got away with it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, no problem. We all know I'm a all the, is a all, the, all the pounds mm. in the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> Not more bricks. But still, uh... because Ali Fur um, Jackastai likes to control his TV, and honestly, when you think about it, right? When you think about that, let's pause it, right? A reroll is seventy k, right? And a skill on a mummy is thirty k. So that mummy is either worth. I don't know, whatever, let's say he's 200 apart from that skill. He's either 230 with block, plus a reroll, so he's 300 with block, or he's, he's 200 without block and 70 for a reroll. So you see, so you basically like, put, you, you, you know, well, 30 for a reroll. Jimmy, Jimmy, it already has block. So did I say block? I meant, I meant dodge. I meant dodge. dodge. So, so yeah. he's either, so you're either like paying 70 and 30, right? To have him with dodge, so you're paying 300 for the dodge one, or you're paying um, 30 for the reroll, 
And so, so it's basically like you're paying 70 TV to give him dodge, and I wouldn't pay 70 TV to give him dodge, <laughs> basically. All I'm hearing is a lot of really, really big words right now. I don't know what you're saying, Jim, but I do know that taking leader on a mummy, straight for six mummy, is absolute bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make the numbers, you make, you know, your uh, pitch sale, but uh, I mean, a straight six uh, blotch mummy. I would not pay 70 TV for Dodge, so I like Lee. But you are not paying 70 uh, TV. You are, you are. I just 40. explained it. You're paying 70. A very, very adept, in depth analysis of why he should take leader, of which I think is absolute nonsense. <laughs> it's absolute bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely bollocks. You can get that, you know, in a skeleton or a zombie if you want when you roll double. <laughs> but they won't stay on the pitch, whereas this guy will, because you can't knock him over because he's strength six block. He doesn't need dodge. You can't, you, you know, you can barely knock him over with strength six block, right? Where do you take leader on this team, Yak? Anywhere except the friggin' mummy. That's where you take it. <laughs> Come on, Jack. We know you. You knew you what you were doing. I like it. I like it. I'm all for it. I've taken leader on the crux a go before because I didn't want to pay 70k for block on the crux. So I agree with you, Jack. Well done. Wait, wait, wait a second. Are you telling me that if you get a crux, Igor, first skill, doubles, you don't get block? I took leader. That's, that's, that's the hill where you want to die, Jimmy. Yep. Yep. There you go, people. There you go. The new meta. No more uh, block cigars. Leader goals. Leader goals. There you go. They did all right. They did all right. Look. There's, there's the link. They did okay. Thirty-one seven five. Not terrible. Leader Crocs played forty-two matches. Bosh. Meaning the health benefits of drinking your own piss, knowing fine well it's fucking mental. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't want to say that, you know, like. Uh... Okay, okay, uh, we live in a world of choice. <laughs> oh, Shetek is. Uh... I think oh. we can. Uh... Oh. We can agree that the, this game, many chances to go into overtime. Yeah, I, did, I hated the foul though, because like, you know, he's got regen, so it, you're not stopping the score. So if you KO him, he's got two chances to come back. And if you Kazim, him, he's got a chance to come back as well. I hated that foul, to be honest. Yeah, it was terrible, wasn't it? Um, mm. Again, your, your personnel down against the regen team. What are you doing fouling a regen team when you're men down or women down? It's just nuts. Yeah. I feel really sad that, you know, like the best option to foul on this uh, under team. Well, and to be fair, I guess, I guess Dio's rationale is he's so far behind. The only way he can get into it is if he makes the really lucky play, you know? Yeah. Guess, uh, okay, yeah, well, yeah, like, the high roll that uh, I all will respect. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, if it was that six uh, strength six leader mummy, I'd foul the tits off of that every turn out of <laughs> pure principle. <laughs> also, Jimmy, we all know what will happen if you get that mummy. You will be get thrown a rock in the first turn, and you will go, oh, for God's sake, I lost my strength six mummy. Oh, I'm yeah. My, my one would have died before he got the lead, 100%. <laughs> did, um, hang on, did, did Yak, um, did Yak just sideline trap himself? Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> Bad end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my name's, I sideline trap myself, and I also take leader on a strength six mummy, because I'm a massive bell end. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Love you, Yak. <laughs> oh, I noticed I just didn't say anything. But yeah, it's it alright, guys. It it's alright. I noticed Artemis. You just noticed a bit before me, which is normal. Oh, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. No problem at all. That's the classic dodge and shot it. Wow. Literally terrible, wasn't it? Got away with it, but that was just insanely bad. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, okay. Wow. Donc, yo, Kim Sunset, it comes back. Yeah. Honestly, I was trying to get over the leader, Mummy, and Yak was like, hang on a minute, hold my pint. <laughs> 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 so maybe nine men for Dio in overtime. If he wins the toss, I guess he's got half a chance. Yeah. I really hope he fouls an LOS zombie here. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> really, really hope. He might. Go on. Go on, Dio. He might, he might, he might. His assessment of them equity might be that severe <laughs> that he thinks it's the only way back. Which is fair enough, right? Like that it's it's kind of right. You've got to play it your outs. You have to play it to your outs. And if your out is is just, you know, fouling every turn, killing somebody every turn, then you're just wrong to not try for it. P.I. Not the uh, Spanish <laughs> podcast group. A lot of undead. Uh, getting hit with the pitch invasion. One, two, three. I remember third edition or fourth edition when there was a injury. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People could die during the pitch invasions. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I know that Ar I know that Artemis feels the same as me. That kickoff, uh, the kickoff table is far too tame right now. It needs to be beefed up somewhat. <laughs> it needs to properly ruin people's games, you know, before they even start. I think. I think Artemis might not agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember when the riot was one d six turns? So some halves were just only two turns. <laughs> Was it D6? I don't remember that. To be yeah, what's a D6? Uh... Wow. Feline AIDS. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There was, there was a kickoff result called Virus, wasn't there? That if your player was niggled, he missed the game. Uh, that was um, in, well, not inducements, was it? It was uh, some other word for inducements. Oh, yes. yeah, that's right. If um, it was. It was basically the same as inducements, wasn't it? I can't yeah. remember what it was called, but that was always brutal, wasn't it? But then yeah, no Nigel, one carried Nigel, nickels back in the day today because of that. So legal players have to roll a d6 before starting the game with a one they couldn't play. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah and then right. with virus, all of your niggle players automatically missed it. And then the terrifying anarchists of Nagaroth, like everybody had a niggle. So like, <laughs> if they got virus, they would just turn up yeah. with like two players or something out of sixteen. It was hilarious. <laughs> The terrifying anarchists of Nagarov are actually in the Did You Know and Blood Bowl 2, yeah. along with Blood Killers, um, Blood Machos, Blood Killers. Yeah, yeah. They're in the Did You Know as well, which is yeah. amazing because that is the best team ever. Yeah. Well, other than Studman's teams. Yeah. Fighter Town USA. <laughs> yeah, Fighter Town USA. Yes. <laughs> it's so good, wasn't it? It was so good. <laughs> Holy moly. Scumbag Russian on <laughs> Always, <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's it's fun most of the time. Um, <laughs> that's good. Grossly lacking. Oh, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. The NAF chairman has decided that you're not actually his friends and family, so he's going to decide to do everything above board. <laughs> Has anyone checked his nom dom status yet? <laughs> I'm not right, Elf. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that, like, that happens and no one really cares. Like, and why should people, I guess? Because, you know, who cares? But still, it's still kind of messed up, I think. Like, when some people are doing things properly, aren't they? And it also makes you wonder, like, what else they've done. Like, do you know what I mean? If they're going to do that, like, what else are they doing, right? Do you know what I mean? 
makes it all a bit of dodgy and not something uh, not something I want to take part in to be honest. You know, you can laugh about that and saying like, you know, Oscuro saying standing up for the little guys banks, but do you know what I mean? Like if if they're gonna do that and they're gonna like, you know, con the HMRC and that, maybe they're conning the players as well, right? Maybe they're maybe they're saying that they're paying that and then taking it off themselves or whatever, who knows? So like I think it's a bit I think it's a bit messed up and I didn't like it, to be honest. Just do it properly, it's not hard, is it? I think that's a bit harsh help. I mean, we are one big happy family in the Blood Bowl community, after all. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that help. <laughs> no, speak, speak uh, of the devil, and he shall appear. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, no, it's 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 like 20 grand. Yeah, 19 grand, isn't it? Over, over 19. 19,200, something like that, right? For, yeah. Like, that's... That's mad. That's mad. That's genuinely insane. Like, it proper fuck... I was like, what the fuck? Because yeah. I get the little guys, the little little events, tabletop events, your pub, fucking 30 people, whatever. Yeah. Five or a pop to pay for the fucking whatever. Yeah. Like, someone's paying, some, they're renting that place, which obviously is going to cost a few pennies. But someone's yeah. paying for that out of their normal bank account, and then taking all this fucking, like, it's insane. Yeah. Oh, hello, El Mib. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I haven't school, but if I did, I would do it properly and I wouldn't I wouldn't try and I would just do it properly I would just do it properly personally <laughs> okay in yellow so there's um we had a joke the other day about um people asking like tournament organizers asking you pay through PayPal but do it as friends slash family like I don't know if you ever bought someone from a second hand site or something but you know they'll ask friends and family because they have to pay they don't have to pay as much fees so the NAF, uh, we made a joke about this, about little people doing this, but it turns out there's massive tournament organisers doing it. Yeah. Like... That are getting 19 grand in. <laughs> yeah, 19 grand. Like, and it's... Not only are they conning out the tax man, like, the tax man might not even take a cut, right? Because it might be a non-profit, like, might constitute a charitable event or whatever, you know. It was all, obviously, it's not registered as such. It's not registered as anything. 19 grand, by the way. Yeah. Oh, an injury. Injury there, sorry. <laughs> yep. No problem. There's an injury. Yep. <laughs> but you, you've, you've got this right. And they're using, like, it's 19 grand going through friends and family, right? HMRC probably wouldn't take a cut, but PayPal are getting fucked out of their fees for using their service. It ain't free. You know, it's, it's just a mole. And, like, how can we, how can we genuinely sit there and be upset when Amazon... PayPal, they do all this offshore stuff so they have to pay taxes in the countries in which they're operating. How can we be upset at them when we're conning them out of the fees that we should be paying for ourselves? Like, why would they pay tax? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking hell. Calm down, Lenin. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's just, it's just the true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> help me. In my humble opinion. Won't somebody please think of the billionaires? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just absurd, though. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like, Jimmy, how would you feel if, like, you know, you had to spend 500 quid to fucking rent out something for Jim Con or whatever? And, you know, you were going to get paid that by someone else. That's like 500 quid, you know, that goes to... I mean, there's thresholds for the taxes and stuff like that. But that money, in some way, is going to be declarable. You have to explain it somewhere along the line. So you do it properly. Yeah. I have always been above board with everything. Me too. So there you go. Yeah, like, they should care about it. And they might be completely exempt from it because they're not running a for-profit business. But here's the thing, right? You spend five pounds, and it's a, I read the website, it's a discount if you do it in person sometimes. You get some fucking dice. What a sweatshop are they getting these fucking dice made in? <laughs> it's, uh, you get a discount if you pay an unmarked ten pence pieces. <laughs> and you declare that you are a friend or family member. If you think NFTs are a money laundering scheme, wait till you get a lot of the NAF. <laughs> Not in the NAF all over the fucking Panama Papers. Dublin makes a good optic, best optics uh, today's. That a group of hundred uh, wise middle-aged men 
together calling themselves friend of family, you know, in an event, a uh, closet doors event. It's it's mad. Look, yeah. <laughs> what do you can now tell like or whether it's they've rented the the venue? They're like, could you send over as friends and family? Please? <laughs> Michael be on his jet ski in a, um, a tax haven going, fuck you lot! <laughs> oh, dear me. No one's making anything up, Aniello. Oh, dear. Let me find you the NAF page. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, they, they ask a few times as well. It's not once on the page, I'll send it as friends and family, if that'd be right. They're like, please send it as friends and family. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and I did some mistakes. I'm gonna have to pay for everybody else's mistakes now. Oh, dear me. You've not paid for anything. It's not a gift, have you? Yeah. That's not a payment. Yeah. <laughs> That's you bequeathing someone money. I'm not paying you for a service. You know, I'm just, I'm just throwing you a bit of, bit of money because, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please uh, do use the friends and family option, please. Yeah, you only mentioned it twice. Unbelievable. Anyway, there's a match happening. <laughs> I think this is more or less in the back for uh, Her Majesty. Jack is <laughs> Yeah, it does look. It does look there's, I give about, him a... there's about four. There's about four zones left. Yeah, ninety-two point thirty-three percent equity to the undead. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear me. Well, what I'm thinking, oh, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to. No, say it. Just, it. just say it. Just say it. Just say it. No, just say it. No, I'm not going to. No. But then, because then people will will take it the wrong way and think I'm being a scumbag. So I'll just not say what I think. That's the best way. That's what all the good streamers do. <laughs> Be as inoffensive as possible. It's all just a joke, like on Top Gear. I think it's really poor form. Go for them. By them. I mean, it's... I don't know. Yeah, it's unexplainable. Like, if it's a small event, whatever, but someone's paying out of their personal account because the hotel's going to want real money, not not PayPal money. They're going to want... Oh yeah, it's five grand, six grand, eight grand, ten grand, whatever, to take our event for these three days, the venue. Someone's paying that somewhere, and they've got to be reimbursed. It's mad. <laughs> it's mad, like... Or maybe they're earning enough that it doesn't even cause a blip on their tax return. Who knows? Small event is 300, more than 300 <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, there you go. Sorry that went off the rails, everybody. <laughs> Comm <laughs> commiserations, Dio. Congratulations, Jack Astai. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fimea, Calcium, and Elkmeme. Glorious of you all to come in. And, Glorious, uh, and yes, Jack <laughs> goes along another uh, round, and Dimi won't get refuted this season. <laughs> That's very true, yeah, yeah. That, that was a failure. A failure to vindicate Amazons. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.